Hello everyone in primary four. I hope you are fine. Today's lesson is unit four, lesson four, five and six. Okay, first of all, I want you to know the difference between the word that has double L and the word that has double R. You should pronounce them as only one L or only one R. And here are some examples about these words. Number one, the word dull, dull. As you see, this word has double L. And you should pronounce it like only one L. Dull, dull, dull. It's a child's toy in the shape of a small person or baby. The girls like to play with their dolls. The next word is the word carrot, carrot. As you see, this word has double or and you should pronounce it like only one or carrot. It's a kind of vegetables. Like as you see in this picture, you can see some carrots. For example, I have got some sandwiches and carrots. Okay, the next word is the word doorbell. A bell operated by a button on or next to the door of a house that you push to tell the people inside that you are there. For example, I can hear the doorbell there is someone outside. The word mirror, mirror, as a noun, it's a piece of glass that reflects your image. For example, I look in the mirror to brush my hair. Okay, the next word is the word shell. Shell, the hard outer part of eggs, nuts, some seeds and some animals. For example, we collected some shells on the beach. The next word is the word the cherry, cherry, cherry. It's a kind of fruit. It's a small and round. Okay. She, for example, she placed a bowl of cherries on the table. The word smell, smell as a verb. Okay, means using the nose to smell something. For example, I can smell the perfume. Okay, and the second part of today's lesson is what do you know about tennis? Tennis, as you know, is a kind of sports. And here, some pieces of information about this. First of all, what the meaning of tennis? It's a game played between two or four people on a special playing area. That involves hitting a small ball across a central net using a racket. Okay. Tennis is a very popular sport all over the world. The game started in France played a game called Pong. Tennis is an Olympic sport and is played at all levels of society and at all ages. The sport can be played by anyone who can hold a racket. Okay. Our new vocab for this lesson is first one fan fan someone who admires and supports a person or a sports team. Okay, the word the next word here is the word Middle, middle. It's a prize for the winner in a game. For example, he won a medal of gold. The next word is the word the championship. A final game after playing round games. So it's a high level competition to decide who is the best, especially in a sport. Example. The British Football Championship will be next month. Okay. The word leather. Leather. 
From the big kitchen, you can see a bag, and we can say the meaning of leather now. Preserved animal skin that is used for making bags, shoes, or jackets. For example, my bag is made of leather. The next word is coat. Coat. It's the place for playing a game. For example, tennis coat. Okay. The next word rules. Rules. Rules means the instructions that you should follow. For example, you should follow the school rules. Okay. And the second part is activities with verbs like do, play, and go. You should use verb do before saying gymnastics, athletics, judo, karate, and the verb play before sports like football, volleyball, basketball, tennis, and the verb go before swimming, skiing, running, cycling. Okay, note, remember, it's, it apostrophe S shows the short form of verb to be is. For example, it's new, equal it is new. Okay, and the short form of has also, it's got wings, means it has got wings. It is a possessive edge. There is a horse on the farm. Its name is a store. It's without its apostrophe here means what? Means the possessive, the possessive. And something belongs to something. The horse's name. Excellent. The horse's name. Look at the dinosaur. Its teeth are long. Means the dinosaur's teeth. More examples. We have got a parrot. Its wings are green and blue. Okay. Oh, it's going to rain. It's a short form of is. Is. Okay. The next one. She has got a core. Equal. She has got a core. And now let's practice. Okay, choose the correct answer. My number one, my brother likes doing. Actually, I should search for the kind of board that I should put before it do. Do. Here, I have basketball, gymnastics, fishing, but I should choose gymnastics. Number two, we went space last Friday. Went is the best form of go, so you should choose Fishing, fishing means go fishing, but here in the past. So we will say we went fishing last Friday. The third one, I like space. Karate, I like playing what? Space. Karate, basketball, athletics. I like play, play. We put the verb play before. Basketball, excellent. So I should choose basketball, basketball here. I like playing basketball. Okay, let's move to rewrite the question. Then re rewrite the following sentences. Let's playing volleyball. Correct. Okay, the right answer will be let's play volleyball. As you should put verb infinitive after verb after let's. And the infinitive verb of playing is play. Number two, basketball started in 1891. When to ask about time? So I will cancel in 1891. So the answer will be when did because verb started here is in the past. So I should use it. When did the basketball store? Number three, they went to Alex with their family. Use we. 
we went to Alex with our family. Why we used our? Because the subject here is we and we should change the possessive adjective. Here we used our as a possessive adjective. And that's all. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you.